Hi family, this is me again. I want to speak a little bit about um, the NFL and your president, Donald Trump. This is uh, the 23rd of September, and I know that most all of you by now have heard what he said this morning about Kaepernick and the NFL players taking a stand for social justice. Now, you know, it is a doggone shame. It is a shame that we have a president, a president of the United States, who would stand up, put his nose in sports, in the sports arena, and curse people out. You know, that's a damn shame. It really is. It's a disgusting mess. And don't forget, just yesterday, he stood up in front of the world, on the world stage, and called... Uh, a leader of another sovereign nation, North Korea, he called him Rocket Man. What in the hell is going on? What kind of people would stand for this man to remain president of this United States? I'm telling you, I hope the powers that be have really got to get that man out of office. That man is, he's dangerous. That man's going to cause the world to end. He is going to cause World War III. How can you stand up there and call a nation, a nation's leader, Rocket Man? Now, first of all, Rocket Man, Kim Jong-un, which I'm not saying that, you know, he's not... Uh, the nicest man on the planet, probably. But you have to remember, America has a lot of propaganda that always goes around so that they can push their agenda. You remember what happened to Saddam Hussein? They accused him of having nuclear weapons when he had none. They destroyed, pillaged his country, and killed him. And look at that country now. He, They did the same thing. It was Hillary Clinton. They did the same thing to Libya's Gaddafi. Don't you know Gaddafi brought his country from a third world country up to a first world country and America didn't like that? They don't want to see anybody that's not white to have any kind of power. And that's basically what it is. Now let's get back to this NFL thing. Okay? You know NFL's losing money. Now don't be fooled. There's a lot of propaganda. Now you think that they're losing money they, they're claiming, here's, here's what they're saying. They're saying it's because of the tornadoes. Might be a reason that they're losing money. Well, hell, they started losing money last year when Ka Kaepernick and others first started taking the knee. They didn't want to televise that, though. They don't want you, black man, to know how much power you have. Not, especially not in that billion-dollar arena. Okay, now they blame that they're lose, they've lost over $200 million this season alone. And that's because of the, the stance that the players are taking. Now, don't forget, this is not only black people. There are white people standing behind us, too. Okay, and the propaganda that talks about the weather is the one making them lose money. But there's white people protesting that as well. There's a lot of people protesting that. Not only that, the white conservatives are protesting it because they want to see them niggas obey the flag. Well, what kind of country are we in? Huh? People fought and died for this country so that people can have freedom of expression. And I would say taking a knee, taking a knee is not disrespectful. Taking a knee is a respectful act showing your stance on the national anthem. Why don't they take that damn national anthem out of the game and stop making our brothers respect a national anthem that does not pertain to us? Just take it out of the game and you might have a, your problem solved. Now, remember... Not only are people who are on Kaepernick's side and others who are taking that knee, there's white people on that side. There's other people, not just blacks. Now you got 
racist white people who want niggas to obey the flag as well. They're not watching the game because they're protesting our players. Okay? So, not only are they blaming it on the, the weather, they're also trying to blame it because the movie It by Stephen King came out this summer. You know that that's a bunch of bullshit. They don't want you to know how much power you have, black man, black nation. You are the trendsetters. When you fall off and make it public, others follow you. You are 45 million people in this nation. You're powerful. They follow your trends. They follow your music. They follow your hairstyles. They follow your, your dress mannerisms. You're the trendsetters. And you can affect more institutions than just the NFL. Now, Michael Bennett and other players are still taking the knee. So this thing ain't over. Stand firm, take the knee, and there is a resolution to this. Take that damn national anthem out of the game. Stop politicizing the game, take the politics out of it, and let the players play. Because you know damn well, if the black boys won't play for you, you're not gonna have a game. Because white on white, that's just a messy game. Now, to you brothers, put your money together and get your own league. Get your own league and play for your own league and play against the white boys. Then they'll have their game back. Take the national anthem out of that bullshit. It doesn't belong there. <clears throat> so, they're getting hit in their pocket. Also, remember this, family. For all the millions that each player plays on a game, if there's 12 players, they're not even, they might be making 100 million as a whole group. But them owners of that one team makes billions with the B. So you're hurting them motherfuckers in their pocket. Okay? You're hurting them in their pocket. And when the white man loses money, that's when his ass will change. So keep on keeping on, stay strong, and you are a trendsetter black man, and we're going to stand behind you. No more talk.